What's going on guys? I am back and I am playing The Wolf Among Us once again for the Xbox One. We are on episode 4, chapter 2. So, picking up right from where I left off. I, like I told you guys, I paused it. So, here we go. If you see anything glitching, it's not my recording device. It is the game itself. So, I'm sorry. So, that's back on me now. I thought we agreed... Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? I'm sorry, were you expecting someone else? No, that was, forget it. What do you want, Bigby? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? Seriously, like, come on, man. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. All right, then. Uh, okay, I guess I'll go look around then. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can tell you're going to make a problem. <laughs> I don't know what the electric bill is for that thing. That's how you know you're a grown up. Yeah, to sit there and think about the the bills first. Can't tell that thing is cracked. Hmm. Talk about living in the past. Seriously. We're out of money. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Uh, I gotta say, that. your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. That's what I'm saying. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. If you haven't noticed, Otherwise, I've got better got this things bandage to on do. my neck, and I got shot at no, Shilla last night. Please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Uh, Beast, do you want to take that? Oh my out God. doing something fabulous. <laughs> uh, let me just uh, <laughs> a day at the beach. This is the cheesiest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> and hey, we can't come to the phone right here. now, so I leave should... a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as <laughs> humanly possible. <laughs> oh my God, that was... Beep! <laughs> that fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call 
call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Damn. That was an awful answering machine, though. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Did you ever see the crooked man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. Yep. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Look, man, I'm not trying to get anyone in trouble here. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, Seriously. where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Go to the pawn shop first. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? The fuck you want a loan from me too or what? Well, 
Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna we'll do see. my job. They had to try to kill me. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Yep. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. All right, well, that is the end of chapter two, or episode four, as you can see from the achievement. So I want to pause as soon as I can. As soon as this load up takes forever, guys. Quick pause. Okay, so we're pausing right here. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys uh, next time for chapter three.